With Midjourney's latest update, we can finally create consistent characters and it's incredibly simple. Think of the endless possibilities for your narratives. This has huge implications for the advertising industry. So stay until the end of this video as I will show you how you can combine this with the style consistency as well. I'm the co-founder of AI Laman Academy and I will help you to squeeze every bit of potential out of the AI tools for your creative projects. So hit the subscribe button and let's dive in. All right, so step one is to hop into Discord and navigate to your mid-journey. And a pro tip here is to run your own server because it helps you keep your creations more organized and easily accessible. So grab an image of your character and here is one we have prepared earlier and we'll just drag and drop it or you can click on the plus icon over here. You can upload a file and I'm going to select this character image that I already have and I'm going to hit enter. I have the image uploaded, but then mid-journey, I'm going to click on it. I want to grab this particular image URL, so I'm going to open it in a browser. So I'm going to grab the URL of the image from the browser, and I'm going to type forward slash imagine. And now I'm going to use my CREF parameter, which is character reference. And this is a brand new update from mid-journey. Works extremely well, so I'm going to paste my reference image URL. So if you if you followed along, it's dash dash followed by C ref, then leave a space and then paste your image URL. All right, now you can add your prompt details of the image you want to generate in the beginning. So I'm going to paste my prompt over here. I'm going to hit space right before uh, the parameter, CRF parameter. And just be sure that the more you specify, the more consistent characters you will be able to generate across different scenarios, right? So be as detailed as you like. Here, my prompt is a handsome man in an elegant gray suit and white shirt poses for the camera. Standing confidently, he has short brown hair styled neatly and is looking directly at the viewer, exuding confidence and charm. Shot on a busy street in broad daylight, right? So that's the character description and also the background that I would like to have in. And I've, I'm referencing this particular character uh, reference parameter along with the URL of this reference character, right? And now you have to set your character weight which is the parameter dash dash CW. CW stands for character weight and you can leave a space. And now here the number ranges from zero to 100, right? So when you use the number 100, you are telling Midjourney that you wanna create the same character very consistently, but also uh, have the entire outfit and the hairstyle and the entire look of the character consistent across uh, different generations, right? And not just the face itself, the entire outfit and also the hairstyle. So that's what I'm gonna use for my first try um, with a value of 100. And you can experiment with the weight to balance between consistency and creative freedom as you go along. And I'm going to select my mid journey v6 parameter and that's it i'm going to hit enter so my images are generated now and that's wonderful right just like that we have images that maintain your character's essence across different scenes right and it was super simple all i had to do is use my character reference parameter along with the image url of the reference character and the character weight right and a detailed prompt that describes my final image. All right, so let's try more experiments around here. So I'm going to copy this whole prompt and let's try to change his outfit. Let's say he's wearing a blue hoodie, all right? So let's try to do that. I'm going to erase this part and I'm going to type a blue hoodie. And let's see what we get. Now, I also need to change the character weight over here and make it to zero because this gives me the flexibility to also change his outfit and other features and while keeping the same character and the face consistent across generations. All right, so I'm going to hit enter. There we have it. Wow, that's wonderful. It has done an amazing job. 
right? While keeping the character consistent, we have changed his outfit. All right, let's try something else. Let's try to change the background. I'm going to copy and paste the entire prompt again. And right now, I'm just going to change the background to short at a beach with C in the... I'm just trying something out. Let's see if it uh, turns out like I expect. I'm also going to change his outfit because he's obviously not going to wear blue hoodie. Uh, when he's at the beach uh, in a summer shirt, all right, summer shirt. Great, so let's try that. All right, there you go. Oh, that's awesome. That's super easy and super effective. I absolutely love this uh, feature. All right, so at the beginning, I did promise you we will combine this along with styled reference and let's see what we can get. All right, so I have a wonderful image over here which i'm going to upload in mid journey and there is a bit of uv effect that is going on i want to extract mimic that aesthetic in my uh, final um, images over here all right so we're going to do that so for that i'm going to again open this image in the browser i'm going to copy the url i'm going to now type forward slash imagine and now I'm going to use the style ref parameter, the style reference parameter followed by the URL. And for that, I'm going to use dash dash SREF, which is style ref, leave a space. I'm going to paste the URL and I'm just going to copy this entire prompt that I have because I want to keep the rest of the image exactly the same. I want the same consistent character. I want the same guy in um, all the image variations but with this particular aesthetic, right? So I have that SRF and now I can also add a style weight parameter and this can go from zero to thousand. So I'm going to use something like 750 and let's try that out. So we have everything we need and I'm going to hit enter. It's 95% done. Oh, I love the look of it already. Wow, that's sweet. That's awesome. And it's, it has kept the character consistent and it's really giving me that aesthetic. These two parameters, the CREF and the SREF, when combined is so powerful. And in fact, if you wanna get any kind of image consistency within Midjourney, all you need is these two parameters, which is the CREF for character consistency and SREF for style consistency, right? And combine them with the character weight and the style weight, I think you can get a whole lot of things done over here. If you like this walkthrough, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more. Until next time, keep creating.